Hi, I'm Ria Lenders. I'm 31 and I've been a trampolinist for 25 years. I'm the Dutch champion 10 times and this year in London is my second Olympic Games. I'd like to give you some tips on what you should look for when buying a garden trampoline. There are many differences in the sturdiness, quality and safety of garden trampolines. To guarantee safety, the safety net should be strong and sturdy. The poles should be at least 38 millimeters in diameter so that they do not bend or break. The poles are covered with waterproof foam with a PVC sleeve. The poles are properly and securely attached to the trampoline and the end of the bolts have protective caps. The net should close properly so that children don't fall out and certainly that small children don't get in on their own. So make sure you do this properly. Yes. Let's take a look at the differences. This is a cheaper garden trampoline. And this is a cheaper garden trampoline after two years. A garden trampoline made from cheap materials deteriorates very quickly. It starts to rust and the material tears. This is all made from cheap materials and as you can see, it's very dangerous. Now let's see what happens when you jump in the net of a cheap garden trampoline. If this trampoline falls over when you jump in the net, what will happen with the older cheap garden trampoline if you jump in the net? Now you can see the difference for yourself. You can do anything you want on this trampoline and it just won't topple over. It is simply very important that the protective pads on a garden trampoline are sturdy because as you see here, you can fall through with your hands or feet and you want to prevent that from happening. So the edge cover must be made from good and sturdy material and it should cover the edge of the trampoline mat as well. The edge pad is there for your protection. I'll show you. That isn't good protection. That's not what we want. See the difference with this trampoline. It's well protected and this is the kind of edge pad you want to have on your trampoline. This edge pad is just much thicker, much sturdier, more robust, so your children are properly protected from the springs and the trampoline frame. This is a much safer solution and will give you years of safe bouncing. Look, this is what we want to see, of course. That if you jump on the edge, nothing happens. That the frame is well protected, that the springs are well protected, Naturally, that's how it should be, and it's very safe. On this trampoline, we wouldn't dare let him jump on the edge. As you can see, the edge moves up, and he can get in between. That's not the intention, and it's simply not safe. Avina gives three years' warranty on the trampoline pad, in contrast to a cheaper brand, which looks like this after two years. This material is perished in the sun and rain because, naturally, the trampoline is always outside. The sideways stability of a garden trampoline is also very important. This is what happens when you bounce on the edge of a cheap garden trampoline. And as you can see with the Avena garden trampoline, you can just bounce on the edge and it doesn't move or topple over. To climb on and off a trampoline safely, Avena has a nice little ladder which you attach to the trampoline. Like this. Here are three springs from garden trampolines. This one is two years old and very rusty. And this one is new and is much smaller than the Avena spring. This one is much bigger and so is much more elasticity. There is a cap covering the sharp end and it won't rust. The couplings between the trampoline and the springs are made of metal and covered in plastic so they are very sturdy. The plastic covering means there are no sharp edges, just as with the springs. If you accidentally touch these with your hand or foot, you won't injure yourself. And you can't put your fingers through the couplings. A nifty feature of the Avena Garden Trampoline is that it has four points marked with a red dot. This helps you insert the mat in the frame correctly. The Avena Garden Trampoline has an oval groove where the spring is attached and this is bent inwards towards the center so it cannot tear. You can see the difference straight away on this cheaper garden trampoline. The ends don't have a protective cap so they are very sharp. You can put your finger through the rings. 
And the coupling is not a groove, but just a round hole, which can tear very quickly. The frame of most of the cheaper garden trampolines is assembled with a clamp, and this is because the frame is so thin that it cannot be properly welded. In contrast to the Avena garden trampoline, which has thick welds and an anti-rust coating. This is from a cheaper garden trampoline, assembled with clamps. This is also from a cheap garden trampoline with very thin welds, and as you can see, the whole frame is bent. This is an Avena garden trampoline frame with thick welds, good sturdy material. What a difference! I'm Rio Lenders, and I recommend Avena playground equipment.